John Mountain Dog Meadows was a world famous bodybuilder, an internet phenomenon and an all-round nice guy, seemingly liked by everyone. So the world was in shock in August 2021 when John seemingly passed away unexpectedly out of the blue in his sleep. But was his death really unexpected? Did he use illegal substances that may have contributed towards his death? Did he ignore doctor's advice to his own detriment? Hi, welcome back to Oxford Medical Summaries. My name is Dr. Aziz, a physician based in the UK. Today here on this channel, I have what I believe to be exclusive first access to John Meadows' official death report, and we will analyze this shortly. But first, as always on this channel, some key questions need to be asked. Did John Meadows have any previous health conditions? John Meadows suffered from a rare disease called idiopathic myointimal hyperplasia. This is a disease of unknown origin characterized by intimal smooth muscle proliferation, leading to thickening of blood vessels. One of the possible consequences of this disease is that of blood clot formation. Blood clots can block up blood vessels and can potentially kill a person. In 2005, as a consequence of this disease, John Meadows lost his whole colon. In an old interview, John Meadows mentioned, the first initial surgery on September 2005 was life-saving and they removed my entire colon. The operation itself caused many problems, including multiple hernias that cleared up in 2007. More significantly, in 2020, John Meadows suffered a heart attack, myocardial infarction. Remember, a heart attack is an occlusion of a blood vessel supplying the heart. Now, in most cases, this is due to plaque buildup. In John Meadows' case, however, it was again another blood clot, which they broke down with blood thinners in the hospital. Now, this is where it gets interesting. This was clearly a major warning for John, and he was given advice on some changes to his life and lifestyle, seemingly very few of which he actually took on board. In a very revealing interview with Generation Iron Fitness just months before he died in 2021, John Meadows said, I had some visits with the doctors later and the doctor that you know they assigned me to and his prognosis was really bad he said you know you've got your heart function your rejection function is so low that you could go to a cardiac arrhythmia and you could die at any second so we should get a defibrillator and plant it in your heart now this is something i've touched upon in some of the other autopsies covered on this channel when a patient has a heart which is enlarged or malfunctioning for whatever reason in this case the damage from the earlier heart attack an ICD defibrillator can quite literally be a lifesaver. The heart is at increased risk of abnormal cardiac rhythms and an ICD essentially shocks it back into sinus rhythm, i.e. a normal heart rhythm and essentially prevents death. Crucially, John turned down this piece of advice and did not get an ICD fitted. He even changed the doctor he was seeing. You know, I just came to the conclusion that no matter what he said, I was going to have to live my life right. I mean, I can't just stop living, so I got a family that depends on me yeah, and so I just, you know, rehab myself back slowly and um, I changed doctors and now like the blood clot went away. Actually, the blood clot went away when he was in hospital and when they administered blood thinners. The ICD was advised as a preventary measure for the future in case any unexpected cardiac events took place, which it clearly did shortly afterwards, leading to Meadows' death. And we'll cover this very shortly in the coroner's report. Did John Meadows use steroids or illegal substances? Now, some of you may know better, but as far as I am aware, John Meadows never officially admitted to using illegal substances. However, given his physique and some of the competitions he was involved in, it was almost a given that there were quite likely illegal substances being used. There is a good article by evolutionary.org which speculates as to what he may or may not have used. Now, I've done a video here on this channel on the nine key signs of how you can spot a steroid user in your gym. And if you ask me, John Meadows was definitely using illegal substances, possibly for quite some years. I'll also link the steroid signs video here to the right at the end of the video. Was John Meadows using TRT, testosterone replacement therapy? Was he advised by doctors to stop? Yes and yes. John Meadows went on to give further details of his discussion and doctors after his 2020 heart attack. I mean, people are going to comment. They're going to say, yeah, that's all the drugs you take and all the stuff you know I've been taking. TRT tests for three years. Now, I haven't competed since 2017. And you know, the first doctor I talked to, he said, maybe it's a testosterone. And I said, well, 150 milligrams a week. I mean, that's a true TRT dose. And I said, why aren't all the others, tens of thousands of guys having blood clots then, right? If this is what will happen. And he said, well, I'm not really sure. I don't really know. I'm not really educated on this, John Meadows said, referring to himself. Now, there is some significant evidence that taking testosterone, be that in the form of TRT or anabolic steroids, can increase the incidence of blood clots. Now, this is particularly significant where there is a family history or even worse, personal history of blood clots, as there clearly was with John Meadows. 
Did John Meadows take the COVID vaccine? Now I've read in a lot of comments speculation that John Meadows taking the COVID vaccine is probably what worsened his blood clot situation and maybe even killed him. The truth is John Meadows was actually against the vaccine and did not take it. When asked if he was going to take the COVID vaccine in the interview shortly before he passed away, John responded, I'm not going to take it, the COVID vaccine. Personally, no, I'm not going to. You know, it's funny, I took the regular flu shot maybe 15 years ago and I got maybe the sickest I've ever been. I'm never taking another vaccine again unless it's against, unless it's some Something like polio because you get really sick. So coming on to the death report, we essentially have a one page summary here which I've received today. So the coroner mentions, upon full inquiry of all known facts, I find that John Meadows came to his death at approximately 0300 hours on 8th August 2021. John Meadows went to bed between 12.30 a.m. and 1 a.m. and was tired after playing basketball. The wife went to bed between 2 and 2.30 a.m. and noted that she heard John breathing at the time. When the wife awoke, she assumed he was sleeping in and went about her morning routine. The wife checked again on John Meadows and found him unresponsive, calling 911. There was no history of recent complaints. There was a medical history of blood clot in the large intestine in 2005 and blood clot in his heart in 2020 requiring blood thinners. No autopsy was indicated in this case. The death is the end result of late complications of idiopathic myointimal hyperplasia with thrombosis, with other conditions of recurrent thrombotic disease with long-term use of anticoagulants. The death is ruled natural. This is interesting. There was no autopsy. Certainly in the UK for a supposed unexpected death at the age of 49, there would have been an autopsy. I'm not exactly 100% sure why an autopsy was not carried out. There is no clear reason given. Perhaps the death was expected and John Meadows, not too dissimilar to Ultimate Warrior in many ways, knew his time was coming to an end. Or the coroner decided that Meadows had not heeded the doctor's advice of cutting down TRT and having an ICD fitted and hence his death was again inevitable. There is also a toxicology screen which was basically negative for everything they tested for. Anyway, none of this is to bring disrespect or disrepute to John Meadows or his family. By all accounts, he was a lovely guy who loved what he did. Even if he did ignore some of the doctor's advice, sometimes you just have to live your life. Did John Meadows go too far though in ignoring medical advice? What are your thoughts and memories on the mountain dog? Do post your thoughts below. Anyway, there are more exciting and original videos coming out on this channel, so if you want to keep learning, be sure to hit the like, subscribe and notifications button. Until next time, stay safe.